Hello and welcome to Anything Brick Builds, and today we're going to learn some massive 2024 leaks that were released by Promo Bricks. Their link will be in the description below. And I'm really excited for all these leaks, guys. Please be sure to subscribe. Only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So the subscribe button is totally free. And let's head right on to these massive 2024 leaks. All right, we'll be starting with Lego set 75372. Clone versus Droids Battle Pack. It will be $30, 215 pieces, about 40 or 60 pieces less than our Legendary 501st Legion's Clone Trooper set. Released on January 1st, it will have around 10 minifigures. Six will be Droids, four will be Clones, unknown which Clone Legion it will be, but this is from Promo Bank. This is just amazing. Super Battle Droids will be returning for the first time in years. I mean, I'm really excited for that, and my guess will be um, Phase 2 White Clones, and they did release a version of this in a May magazine, a helmet, so they might have that going in the works, and a side build might be an ARC-170, so that might be cool, it might not be really big, might just be a micro fighter version, probably an updated version of that, and then we have 75374, the Skeleton Cruise Ship, 1000. 325 pieces 140 us dollars august just sorry january 1st 2024 and i believe this is our first ship over 100 dollars for a january 1st lineup and now we don't really know much about the skeleton crew show from disney plus but that is what it will be we will have 30680 it's our poly bag 75 pieces january 1st you guys know we deal with those and then we have the Crimson Firehawk, that should be about 140 pieces, $50, as well as January 1st, 2024. And then we do have some really big stuff coming up next, 753575 Millennium Falcon Mini Scale Ship. March 1st, 2024, 80 US dollars. And to pair right alongside that 75376 Tantive for mini scale set, another $80 March 1st set. And coming out at that same time as well, we'll have the Darth Vader hallway scene from It's a New Hope. It'll be a diorama style, retail for about $55. And it will contain probably Darth Vader, of course, some Rebel Fleet Troopers and some Stormtroopers to pair along with it. And our next March 1st set, 75379. Buildable RT to $100 March 1st, 2024. Now, we do already have a UCS style this right here. And I'm not really sure why they're doing it, but I think it might, it could be motorized. It could have maybe a serving tray on it from Return to Jedi. That might, that might be how they do it, but really cool. I'm very interested to see what they're going to do. Now, we're moving all the way to May 1st, 2023, 75381, Droidica. 70 US dollars May 1st and I'm absolutely thrilled the first prequel buildable character that we've had I'm so thrilled for it unless you count our RT2 as prequel and original trilogy and sequel but it will it might roll up just like the 2002 version that was a Technic one so it might roll up but it will probably just be brick built and stationary another May 1st set 75380 the Bunta Eve pod race diorama our first prequel diorama, note that, 70 US dollars May 1st. My guess will be it will be mini scale and micro scale, just like in Star Wars Trench Run. 75378 Grogu's Escape from Mando Season 3, $30 May 1st, 2024. Now, I'm not really sure why they're releasing it in May when the show came out last May, last February. This would have been a, probably a better May 1st set, but. If it's executed really well, it'll definitely have Keller and Vess, definitely Grogu, definitely maybe a clone trooper or two fighting off against it. Maybe they'll just reuse the Coruscant Guard troopers in there or something like that. And I am really excited for all these sets, guys. We, of course, have our UCS set later this year. And that is about it for this video, guys. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notifications button on if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next LEGO Star Wars video. Peace out, may the force be with you.